Jeremiah buys a field. The word came from the Lord to Jeremiah in the tenth year of King Zedekiah of Judah. This was the eighteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon the forces of. The king of Babylon's army made a fortification against Jerusalem, and Jeremiah was kept in. The court of the prison which was in the king's house, in which King Zedekiah shut him up. Saying, Why do you prophesy, saying, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. Zedekiah shall not escape from the hand of the Chaldeans, for he shall surely be delivered into the hands of the king of Babylon. He shall speak with him face to face and see him eye to eye. Then Zedekiah shall go to Babylon and dwell there. Again the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying Behold, Hanamel the son of Shalom, your father's brother, will come to you, saying, Buy yourself my field in Anadhoth. For you have the right to receive it as a possession. So Hanamel the son of Shalom, my father's brother, came to me in the court of the prison and said to me, Buy my field in Anadhoth, which is in the land of Benjamin. The right to buy it is yours and you are the elder. So I knew this was the word of the Lord. Thus I bought the field from Hanamel, the son of my father's brother, and weighed him seventeen shekels of silver. I wrote it in a book. Sealed it, took the testimony of witnesses, and weighed the money on the scales. Then I took the book of the purchase that was sealed and gave it to Barak the son of Neria, son of Masiah, in the sight of Hanamel, the son of my father's brother, and in the sight of the men who stood by and who signed the purchase deed, and in the sight of those Jews in the court of the prison. Then I charged Barak in their sight, saying, Thus says the Lord Almighty, Take this purchase deed and the deed that was read aloud and put it in an earthen vessel, that it may remain many days. For thus says the Lord, Even fields, houses, and vineyards shall be possessed in this land. Jeremiah's prayer acknowledges God's faithfulness. After I gave the book of the purchase to Barak the son of Neria, I prayed to the Lord. Saying, O Lord, you made heaven and earth by your great strength and by your high end. Uplifted arm. There is nothing hidden from you. You grant mercy to thousands, and repay. The sins of the fathers into the bosoms of their children after them, the great and mighty. God, the Lord of great counsel and powerful in deeds, the great God, the Almighty, and the Lord of great name. Your eyes are upon the ways of the sons of men, to give everyone according to his way. You did signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, even to this day, and in Israel and among the inhabitants of the earth. You made yourself a name, as it is this day. You brought your people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and wonders, with a strong hand and a high arm, and with great visions. You gave them this land, which you swore to their fathers, a land flowing with milk and honey. They went in and took it, but they did not listen to your voice or walk in your commandments. They did none of the things you commanded them to do, and it caused all of these calamities to happen to them. Behold, a multitude comes against the city, and the city is given into the hands of the Chaldeans who wage war against it, with the power of sword and famine. As you have spoken. Thus it has happened. You did say to me, Buy for yourself the field for silver. So I wrote. The book, sealed it, and took the testimony of witnesses. Yet the city has been given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Jerusalem will fall. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Shall anything be hidden from me? Therefore thus says the Lord God of Israel, This city shall certainly be delivered into the hands of the king of Babylon, and he shall take it. For the Chaldeans shall come and wage war against the city. They shall burn this city with fire, and burn up the houses in which they burnt incense to Baal on their housetops, 
and poured drink. Offerings to other gods to provoke me. For the children of Israel and the children of Judah. Alone did evil in my sight from their youth. For this city provoked my wrath and anger. From the day they built it even to this day, so I removed it from my presence, because of all. The evils of the children of Israel and Judah which they did to provoke me they and their kings, and their rulers, priests, and prophets, and the men of Judah and those living in Jerusalem. They turned their back to me and not their face. I taught them early in the morning, yes I taught them, but they did not listen to take hold of the instruction. Instead, they put their unclean defilements in the house in which my name is called. They built altars to Baal in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to offer their sons and daughters to King Molech, which things I did not command, nor did such things come into my heart, for them. To do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. God reaffirms his covenant. Now thus says the Lord God of Israel against the city of which you say, it shall be delivered into the hands of the king of Babylon by sword, famine, and banishment. Behold, I will gather them out of every land where I scattered them in my wrath and anger, and in great provocation. I will bring them back to this place and will cause them to dwell in confidence. They shall be to me as a people, and I shall be as God to them. I will give them another way and a different heart, to fear me all their days, for their good and for the good of their children after them I will make an everlasting covenant with them, by which I will not turn away from them. I will put my fear into their heart so they may not depart from me I will visit them to do good to them, and I will plant them in this land in faithfulness, and with all my heart and soul. For thus says the Lord, as I have brought all these great calamities upon this people, so I will bring upon them all the good things I have spoken. Fields will yet be bought in the land of which you say, it is impassable for men and cattle, for they were delivered into the hands of the Chaldeans. But they shall buy fields with money, and you will write a book. Seal it, and take the testimony of witnesses in the land of Benjamin and round about Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah and the mountains, and in the cities of the lowland, and the south, for I will turn back their captivity. The nation will be restored. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time when he was yet bound in the court of the prison, saying, Thus says the Lord, he who made the earth and formed it. To establish it the Lord is his name, cry out to me, and I will answer you. I will proclaim to you great and mighty things which you do not know. For thus says the Lord God of Israel concerning the houses of the city and the houses of the king of Judah, which were pulled down and made into entrenchments and outer fortifications, to fight against the Chaldeans and to fill the city with dead men, whom I struck in my wrath and anger, and I turned away my face from them because of all their evils. Behold, I bring her health and healing for her wounds, and I will show them how to obey. Yes. I will heal this city and bring about peace and faithfulness I shall return the captives of Judah and Israel and will restore them, even as before. I will cleanse them from all their wrongdoings by which they sinned against me. I will not remember their sins by which they sinned against me and withdrew from me. This shall be for the gladness, praise, and majesty of all the people of the earth, who shall hear all the good things I will do they shall fear and be provoked concerning all the good things and the peace I shall bring upon them. Thus says the Lord, there shall yet be heard in this place, in which you say, it is destitute of people and cattle, in the cities of Judah and outside of Jerusalem, in the places made desolate, without man and cattle, the voice of gladness and joyfulness, the voice of the bridegroom and the bride, the voice of those saying, Give thanks to the Lord Almighty. For the Lord is good, for his mercy endures forever. They will bring gifts into the house of the Lord, for I shall bring back all the captives of that land as it was before, says the Lord. 
Thus says the Lord of hosts, There shall yet be in this place of desolation without man. And cattle, and in all its cities, resting places for the shepherds to bed down their sheep. In the cities of the hill country and the valley, and in the cities of the south and the land of Benjamin, and in the cities around Jerusalem and Judah, sheep shall again pass under the hand of him who counts them, says the Lord. Notes from the previous page. 39 colon 1 tenth year, 587 BC, the beginning of the siege of Jerusalem. 39 colon 6 12 This incident reveals that the prophet had hope in the field he purchased, even though he was aware of the impending disaster. But the purchase took place outside of Jerusalem in an unprotected area, revealing that the Jews were to leave Jerusalem and become servants in Babylon. 3935 The Greek word translated to offer has a sacrificial connotation, the exact word used in the anaphora of the Eucharist. This makes the deed all the more horrible, that Israel saw the death of their children to be an acceptable sacrifice to a god. 39.40 Everlasting Covenant, after this prophecy, only the covenant of Jesus Christ was of an eternal nature. 39.41 Jeremiah emphasizes that the new covenant will be made on the basis of faithfulness, not the letter of the law. 40.6 Christ alone brings healing for our wounds. The service of healing is a sacrament. In the church, see James 5.14, 16.